rest in peace to OJ Simpson. Um, you know, arguably, you know, at the time was considered the greatest running back of all time. Potentially, there's a lot of people that still believe that, you know, one of the, you know, foreman, former Heisman winner, a uh, longtime Bills running back. And I think he played, uh, was it like one season for the 49ers, if I'm not mistaken? But um, let me uh, let me check real quick. Let me let me check his playing history. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you former, you know, USC alum alumni, you know what I mean? Um, also, yeah, two seasons he played for the 49ers. Okay. But yeah, man, this is, you know, NFL Hall of Famer, you know, um, at the time when he retired, um, he was the NFL's second all-time rushing leader at the time. Like now he's like 21st, obviously, you know, um, the only person to rush for over 2000 yards, <laughs> um, even though I think Derrick Henry broke that record, but you know, OJ Simpson was no joke on the field, you know? Um, let's read the article. Let's read the article. OJ Simpson dead at 76 after cancer battle. Uh, they said it was prostate cancer, uh, allegedly. And by the way, OJ Simpson's Twitter was amazing. <laughs> OJ Simpson had an amazing Twitter. Anyway, OJ Simpson, the once beloved NFL superstar and Hollywood actor who was acquitted in a nine, 1995 murder trial that gripped the nation, died at his Las Vegas home. Wednesday, he was 76 years old. You know, he still lived, you know, fairly long you know, for all that he went through at the latter stages of his life. So, you know. Hmm. And also, man, they still, <laughs> yo, why they still mad about that murder trial from 95, man? Anyway, let me continue. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later, my, my opinion on it. And a lot of people are not going to like it. Let me see. Simpson, whose fame, fortune, and legacy were forever changed despite being cleared by a Los Angeles jury of killing his ex-wife and her male friend. <laughs> that's what they calling him in what was dubbed the trial of the century had been battling prostate cancer on April 10th. Our father Ornithel James Simpson succumbed to his battle with cancer. His family announced on social media Thursday, he was surrounded by his children and grandchildren nicknamed the Jew Simpson was the most popular athlete of the 1960s and 70s. And for the people that don't know, for the kids that don't know at the time, you know, before, like what, what a lot of people won't admit, OJ Simpson was like the most popular athlete in America. He was like, he was America's favorite athlete. <laughs> he was America's favorite uh, person, not even just athlete, just person in general. You know what I mean? Um, even like, you know, post, you know, after retirement, he was doing sideline reporting. He was on TV. He was, you know, OJ Simpson. He was just made to do to just to be in entertainment. He was made for, for uh, to be an entertainer, you know. Act, oh, yeah, he, I forgot he was, you know, acting. He was putting his acting chops out there, TV actor, you know. There you go. You see him with this Heisman right here. You know. A Heisman Trophy winner during his days at the University of Southern, Southern California, a.k.a. the University of Spoiled Children. <laughs> the running backs pl uh, played 11 NFL seasons, nine of them with the Buffalo Bills. He won four NFL rushing titles, rushed for 11,236 yards over his career, scored 76 touchdowns and featured in five Pro Bowls. Legendary running back, legendary running back career, really, from in college and in the NFL. O.J. Simpson says, I was part of the history of the game. Simpson once said of his Hall of Fame career, if I did nothing else in my life, I made my I, I made my mark. Simpson quickly parlayed his NFL success into show business achievements, such as appearing in the acclaimed TV mini miniseries Roots and films such as Naked Gun. He also famously became a pitchman for brands such as Hertz rental cars. <laughs> but athletic popularity in Hollywood fame came crashing down when he was charged with the horrific slashing murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend. Ronald Goldman. Interesting last name. There. Anyway, uh, in Los Angeles in 19 <laughs> in 1994, live TV coverage of his arrest after a slow speed chase in his white Ford Bronco became infamous. <laughs> his murder trial, man, people still on that. Man. His murder trial for the following year was a tabloid and media sensation that mesmerized the country as the former football stars dream team of high profile lawyers tried to refute a seemingly damning stack of evidence. In addition to courtroom bulldogs, Robert Shapiro and Johnny Cochran, the team included Robert Kardashian, whose daughter Kim later parlayed her own sex tape infamy into a reality television empire. Hmm. 
the blockbuster trial became the stuff of legend when <laughs> Simpson struggled to try on a bloodstained glove, causing defense attorney Cochran to exclaim, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Oh, yeah. By the way, I have put Johnny Cochran is like I said, like he's like one of the top five most influential uh, <laughs> black men in American history. <laughs> oh, man. But people don't understand, like Johnny Cochran's record is damn near floss, damn near floss as a lawyer. One of the greatest attorneys in the history of attorneys, like literally the he is the he is the embodiment of the American dream. A civil rights attorney, if I'm not mistaken, very, very great, like a great, you know, an elite lawyer. I hope they I hope they cover the part where basically in 2005, where they basically sent him to prison for uh, trying to get back his own shit. Let me see. Yeah, in 2007, the kidnapping robbery charges he got, that was that was bogus. That was bogus. That was bogus as hell. But people are just like, since it happened to him, they were just like, yes. You know, but I'll say this. You know, I would like to honor his legacy by, you know, remembering the good times, remembering that he's one of the best NFL players of all time, arguably, if not maybe the greatest running back of all time, especially when he retired. He definitely had a case uh, for that. He still has a case today. Uh, NFL Hall of, Hall of Famer, one of the best college football players of all time, former Heisman winner. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he did win a national championship with USC. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about that. But man, he, you know, he. Um, you know, his legacy really shouldn't just be, you know, shouldn't be marred with the uh, trial, which he was found innocent in, <laughs> which is funny to me. But anyway, I was um, let me let me say this, though, officially when it comes to OJ. Right. Um, And, and people might not like this, what, what I'm about to say, but anybody that's still mad about OJ Simpson not uh being found not guilty y'all gotta get over it <laughs> you guys gotta get over it i mean damn bro <laughs> oh man i think people need to um do the research behind the trial how the lawyers were able to defend him and people go on about how you know they had an all-black jury and that was a political decision by the people selecting it because there was there uh you know, people keep talking about the uh, the Rodney trial, or sorry, the, uh, the the Rodney verdict, whatever. And it was a an interesting political time, you know. Um, but I, I'll I will say this: I will say this. Anybody that's still mad about the verdict, stop acting like O.J. Simpson cheated the system. He didn't. He went in there. He bought. He bought the lawyers that he needed to, to, to buy in, in the state of California to to get justice, quote unquote justice. Right. It's about who has the most money. And O.J. Simpson was able to get the best lawyers. Right. Uh, the defense, uh, the the uh, the uh, pro the prosecute, uh, the, the, the the prosecution, uh, you know, the prosecutors were uh, not well in tune with what was happening. The lawyers were able to to use the political situation with the, ju the juries and use uh, the LAPD fucking up OD. And this is what people don't even want to talk about. The LAPD fucked up in terms of handling the evidence. They caught them planning evidence. They caught them do caught them doing what, what LAPD do <laughs> being crooked. And they use that to sway the jurors one way. And this is the job of the lawyers. What people don't understand. This is what the lawyers do. This is, this, this is what they do. Um, and I will say, particularly with Caucasian folks that are still mad about the verdict, I think me personally, and I could be wrong about this. I think this was the first time that Caucasians saw a verdict and they realized that our system is not fair. I think if it wasn't for this particular verdict, I think a lot of Caucasians would still be running around thinking that this system is just and fair, <laughs> you know, and I find it a bit amusing because OJ said he just used the same system that the American public or people of power have been using to get their way and he used it to get his way and because the juries and uh, you know judged whatever they found him innocent 
pe- people are were still mad about it. Now, we got the race part out of the way. Now let's talk about the reality of the situation. And I'm going to let Chris Rock help me with that. Now, I want you guys to pay attention. Let's now take out our biases. Let's let's be adults here. Let's take out our biases and let's analyze the case via Chris Rock. Now, the first thing he's going to mention is Ron Goldman, right? The other person that also tragically passed away next to Nicole. And what was interesting in the uh, the article, right? They still talk about Ron Goldman like they say male friend. And I'm like, are in 2024, we we still falling for that? A male friend. That's that was her lover. (laughs) It's 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 hilarious how this is how you know you're dealing with you know, with biased writers, people that are not telling the truth. We know who that was. That was the lover. Now let's let Chris Rock preach (laughs) to the normies real quick. But let's break down the case. What else? What's the guy, Ron Goldman? That was her boyfriend. Okay, don't, don't be mistaken. I think it was just some guy returning glasses. Okay, when was the last time you left some shit in a restaurant and they brought it back to your house? Okay, shit, I want to eat there. She do leave a newborn baby in a restaurant and then put him in a coat room. Fair use, fair use, man. Shout out to Chris Rock, who also, when we talk about Patrice O'Neill, uh, uh, Corey Holcomb, Bill Burr, let's not forget Chris Rock pushed a lot of the boundaries with his comedy, with putting he putting little snippets here and there of what we like to call RP content. But back then it was only the, a lot of, only a few comedians were, were pushing this message out here. Talking about what these 304s be really be doing out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, so let's, let's also give Chris Rock his credit. Like, like we do Patrice and, you know, Corey Holcomb and these people, let's give Chris Rock his credit as well. Second of all, he was known to drive around town and this Ferrari that OJ bought for her. <laughs> Think about that shit. I'll buy you a car. You gonna let another man drive around in my car? Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> shit. Now, Chris Rock is just speaking on some rational stuff for the people that don't understand, right? OJ and Nicole, they were married. Now they ended up um, separating. I don't remember when the official divorce happened. Um, Let me check here real quick. Hopefully they get into his personal. Hopefully they get into his uh, his, his personal. (laughs) Here we go. Nicola Brown system. The marriage lasted seven years during which Simpson pleaded no contest to spousal abuse. (laughs) Oh, here we go. Brown filed for divorce uh, February 25th, 1992, citing irreconcilable differences. In 1993, after the divorce, Brown and Simpson made an attempt at reconciliation. But according to Sheila Weller, they were a dramatic, fractious, mutually obsessed couple before they married, after they married, after they divorced in 1992 and after they reconciled. (laughs) Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, during during that time, you know, they divorced, try to get back together, but during that time, Ron Goldman was fucking Nicole. Let's keep it a bug. That wasn't a male friend, that was her lover. And what Chris Rock revealed during that time, because he was there, Ron Goldman was known to ride around in OJ's car. Now that's foul. Now that's foul. Now, like I said, when it comes to divorce, we already know what happens in divorce. You lose half of your stuff minimally. That's the minimum dam- damage. That's not what you, the standard, that's the minimum stuff that you lose in a divorce is half your stuff. Obviously, OJ lost more than half of his stuff, probably lost his car, his house. And Chris Rock is going to go into that here. What? You better recognize. But if I saw somebody driving my pit up, you had a man driving another man's car, picking up your former wife or your ex-wife that just destroyed you. Even if you don't have love for her, you the men are going to feel a type of way. And it looks like, according to reports, OJ was still very much in love with Nicole. Now, to be fair, that's all OJ's fault on his end because he already had a family. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he actually left his former family for Nicole Simpson, if I'm not mistaken. That shit would blow up like a godfather. And I'm not saying he should have killed him, but I understand. So that's one of Chris Rock's fav- favorite, um, one of his signatures when he was talking about OJ Simpson. He said, I'm not saying he should have killed her. I'm just saying, I understand. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? People don't get it. Chris, you're condoning murder. I- I'm not telling you what, what, what it is. I'm just telling you. Well, that, that is how I'm just telling you this, this, this is a cold life, bro. You got to watch how you, how you, how you rolling. And first of all, as I keep telling men, the dangers of date uh, of dating somebody with a past, the dangers of dating somebody that's like quote unquote recently separated when you're dealing with stalkers and all, you know what I mean? So we got, people got to be careful. $25,000 a month in alimony. $25,000. 25. Sheesh. 25 k a month in alimony. 25 k a month in alimony. A lot of men, like I said, people think what happened. <laughs> I keep telling you, what happened to Bill Cosby? What happened to R. Kelly? All these people. That can happen to you. Don't think that you, you, you won't snap. Like, you, okay, you, okay, if you believe that OJ did it, fine. Now, look at the circumstances. Don't think that you're above doing that. I didn't see people. I, 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 cause I, like I said, I used to be a cashier. I didn't see people in line. A lot of people can't even wait in line. <laughs> I'm talking about people can't even wait in a line. You think that you're above doing something reprehensible because you're feeling a certain type of way, especially about your former wife, and she's still taking money from you, and you have the dude that's screwing your wife driving your car. Hmm. Don't think you're above it, because I didn't see. Because people's patience, uh, Normie's patience is not 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 that high. <laughs> Four thousand dollars a month for food. For food. What the fuck was she eating? For four grand a month. I guess she's like, I gotta get some extra cheese on my wiper. <laughs> yeah, women, y'all got it good, boy. When it's time to get a divorce, women got it made. You go to court, stop talking that shit. Your honor, I'm used to this. I'm used to that. I'm accustomed to this. Yo, what the fuck is accustomed? What that got to do with shit? Hey, you got a restaurant, you're accustomed to eat. You leave, you ain't eating no more. They don't owe you a steak. <laughs> But that's how divorce that's how divorce works, fellas. And shout out to Chris Rock when he started breaking it down. And then, like, I remember listening to this um, as a kid. This is a side of the game that people don't want to touch. This is a side when we talk about Emmett, Emmett Till, right? There's another side of that story that people don't want to touch. Because once you actually touch that side of the story, you realize it's not even about race. <laughs> it's not it's not even it's 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 deeper it's about male and female nature it's about the consequences of messing with a taken 304 the consequences of being with someone and not under understanding the ramifications if you break up with somebody and when you talk about the oj simpson thing what he did what he allegedly did or did not do this is why I tell people, do not let the media um, fixate your mind on something. So the media really fixated on the po- polarization be- of this case. You know what I mean? And I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at, at here. I'm not even going to go into more. Of, I don't know, you know. Let me let me let me play the rest of this. I'll play. The rest. I want to go to court. Fuck that shit. Y'all. I'm used to this. I'm used to that. I want some money. Give us money. Go to court and say, y'all. Check this out. I mean, she can have an alimony, but I want some pussy payments. <laughs> You know what? That's alimony. That's what made OJ crap. That alimony. She paid that big ass alimony. He ain't scored a touchdown in 20 years. That's right. Should have had a pre. And like I said, he, I don't know. Maybe he was making more money, you know, off the football, uh, uh, off the field, you know, post retirement. But still, you know, in entertainment, money isn't always guaranteed, even if you're an OJ, uh, OJ Simpson figure, you know, so. That I'm talking about twenty five thousand dollars a month in in alimony. It it adds up, bro. It adds up. Trust me. It adds up when you know child support payment. I'm, I'm not talking about with Nicole. There was child support payment. I'm just telling you, just child support payments in general stuff. It adds up. That stuff adds up. I remember um watching a Kanye West live stream about him having to pay two hundred thousand dollars a month in child support, and you had some dumbass in the comment section talking about oh that he can afford it. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> You know, so this is what people this this is the other side of the case that people don't like to touch. This is a, it's easy to say, oh, OJ did this or he got away with this. But this is another side of the case that people don't want to touch. This is why I don't hold this against OJ Simpson's legacy. I don't because what allegedly hap- allegedly happened to him can easily happen to any man, any man. Trust me. <laughs> 